Hello and welcome to Tampa Tech Reviews overview video of the 160 gigabyte iPod Classic. This iPod Classic is an excellent choice for those seeking a no frills device specifically for the purpose of storing and playing large amounts of digital music, photos, and or videos on the go. The iPod Classic is well suited for those with no need to access the internet through their portable media player. For instance, someone who may already own an iPhone or another type of smartphone with limited storage space and the ability to access the internet through their mobile provider. The iPod Classic's 160 gigabyte capacity could provide ample storage space for this type of consumer of daily or regular audio and video content. This device could also be suitable for those less tech savvy individuals which require an easier to use device with simple controls and a decent sized LCD screen. The iPod Classic is a well built piece of gear and very durable in day to day use. Buyers of this iPod may want to invest in a case, cover, or protective shield designed to protect this device from scratches, dents, and dings which are almost surely to occur during normal carrying of this iPod during their daily activities. The rear metal portion of this device does scratch very easily and does show smudge marks and fingerprints often. So it's a good idea to protect it in somehow so that uh, it doesn't get scratched all to pieces uh, within the first couple of days after you buy it. So enough about that, let's talk about the tech specs of the iPod Classic. As far as size and weight are concerned, the iPod Classic measures in at 4.1 inches tall, it's 2.4 inches wide, it's 0.41 inches deep, and it weighs 4.9 ounces. The capacity of the iPod Classic is 160 gigabytes. It can hold up to 40,000 songs or up to 25,000 images or up to 200 hours of video or various combinations of songs, images, and or videos. The display on the iPod Classic is a 2.5 inch color LCD screen with LED backlighting. It's a 320 pixel by 240 pixel resolution and Apple squeezes in 163 pixels per inch on this display to try to give you a crisp and clear display on the iPod Classic. Power for the iPod Classic is a built in rechargeable lithium ion battery. Maximum playback time is 36 continuous hours for audio files or 6 continuous hours for video files based on a full charge. Charging is accomplished via a USB cable connected to a computer or by utilizing a power adapter purchased separately. You can fast charge this device in 2 hours which will give you 80% charge or if you're charging it from a zero charge it'll take 4 hours to charge completely. So now we're going to talk about the two ports that are on the iPod Classic. It's got a port located on the bottom and it's got one located on the top. The port on the bottom is your charging port uh, and also the port that you use to connect it to a computer and sync it up. It utilizes Apple's proprietary USB cable with dock connector and the end that plugs in there looks like this and on the other end you have USB connector. So at the top of the device on the right hand side you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The media supported by the 160 gigabyte iPod Classic includes music, movies, TV shows, videos, audiobooks, podcasts, and photos. The iPod Classic is available in two colors it's available in black as you see here and it's also available in silver. The iPod Classic retails for around $250.
So now let's talk a little bit about the display and the controls on the iPod Classic. If you look up at the top on the left hand side you'll see a button and next to it it says hold. What that button does is when you slide it over to the right hand side it locks your click wheel. So uh, this keeps your click wheel from getting pressed and you know it, it turning on your iPod and playing a bunch of songs while it's in your pocket or your backpack or or what have you. So uh, that's a good feature to have that that button. It basically locks out, you know, the the controls you have here. So when you want to turn the iPod back on, because it's basically asleep, when you want to turn it back on, you just slide that to the left, and it's going to come back on. So uh, you'll notice over here on the left hand side, this is your navigation, and to move up and down in the navigation, you just circle on this wheel right here, and it's going to move back and forth. So it's very easy to utilize this. Uh, and then when you want to go further into the navigation, so let's say I had photos on here. I don't have any on here, but let's say I did. Then I would go to where photos are and I would click. And then it's going to take you inside that portion of the navigation. And then say you wanted to go to settings, you would roll down to that and you would click again. Uh, like I said, I don't have anything in the photos area, so if you want to go back to the main navigation, all you do is hit menu, and that's going to take you back to where you were before, and you can, you know, scroll up and down from here. So, some of the cool things about the navigation inside here is uh, they give you a lot of different ways that you can find your music or your content. So, you can search by playlist, by the cover flow art. Um, by the uh, items that you've purchased or the artist so uh, it's really user friendly and uh, like I said it, this is a very easy device to use uh, it's not like it's got a whole lot of stuff on it so like I said if you scroll up here to music it'll end up showing up uh, you know cover art and stuff that's there so like I said, it's very easy to use and simple to operate. And the iPod Classic is uh, pretty cool. And if you want to put it to sleep, you just hold the uh, pause button down here for two or three seconds and it'll end up putting it to sleep. And then normally what I do after that is I go up here and I slide the button over at the top to lock out the uh, click wheel down here so that it doesn't you know keep pushing its buttons while it's in a bag or something so now we're going to talk about what you get in the box when you buy this device uh, of course you get the iPod Classic as seen here uh, you get a dock connector to USB which is the cable that you need to charge it and plug it up uh, you get a set of earbuds from Apple you get Apple's quick start guide and you get a complimentary sticker from Apple uh, you've probably seen them on the back of people's cars the little white apple sticker um, so that's a way for you to join the apple nation so in closing that's it for our overview of the ipod classic this portable media player is a great choice for those in need of massive amounts of storage for their personal images audio and video files and for those seeking a less complicated alternative to the ipod touch if you have any questions or comments about this ipod please feel free to leave them in the comments section below if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more from us, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to stay up to date with each new video we post. And as always, thanks for watching.